Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm reading what I wrote on Facebook at the beginning of all of this um, so that I have everything on video. For the first three days, I wrote, and then I discovered video, and the rest is history. So I'm reading um, from Facebook what I wrote on day three of Spanish lockdown, which is the 17th of March. So this is what I had to say. Things seem to have pretty much settled down here, except for some Brits Abroad's videos, which have appeared on Facebook, really not helping the reputation of other Britons in the country, in Spain. I'm staying indoors except for small work, walks with Poppy, who really doesn't understand why we're not going out and about. And she is getting a bit clingy. Um, it's very difficult to clean your apartment when all a little doggy wants to do is sit on your lap. We had the eight o'clock round of applause again last night. And it's definitely getting louder. I should be out on the balcony again tonight. It somehow helps to keep you connected to other people. I've been keeping up with the news from the UK and I feel sorry for you guys. At least the Spanish government made a decision, a very clear and direct decision with very definite do's and don'ts, which once you can understand them in a different language, uh, my problem, not Spain's, obviously, you do know what to do. It must be really difficult to, to really difficult to not know what to do um, and to have to think about what to do for the best and for other people, for yourself and other people. Hopefully things will become as straightforward for you as they are here in Spain. The biggest problem for a lot of people is going to be finding things to do. If you craft, make sure you get your supplies in now. All our retail shops closed Saturday night. Well, that was it. it didn't reopen. So no chance to go and get wool or anything like that. Um, I do have some wool I bought before the lockdown um, and I'm knitting premature baby blankets. They will keep. If you read, buy books or even better, get an e-reader. I love mine. Think about signing up for online classes. Think about things you can do at home to keep your mind occupied. I'm dusting off the Wii Fit board and starting yoga. Anything to help keep the weight down and exercise levels up. I don't want to come out this the other end a fat blob or an alcoholic. Um, and finally, I'm very thankful for all the extra fabric I bought with me to Spain. I thought it was too much when I first moved here, but now I'm never going to run out of things to do. Stay safe, everyone, wherever in the world you are. Protect your loved ones if you can and keep in touch with those you can't be with. Care about your neighbours if you're in a position to help them, but make sure you look after yourself.